Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to join the Windows Insider program. And if you don't know what that is, when you join the Windows Insider program on your computer, it allows you to get uh, new updates and releases of Windows features kind of before they go out to the general public for testing and that kind of thing. And if you're interested in maybe trying out Windows 11 before it becomes uh, final for everybody, you could join this too and see if you could get it. A little glimpse into that so one thing to keep in mind is once you sign up for this on this particular computer it's going to want to do these updates and um, install them on your computer and things might not be too stable so it's up to you if you want to take that chance or not so or so if maybe you have another computer that you don't really use or don't care about or maybe even a vm you could uh, sign up for it in that you could also turn it off if you realize that you don't want it so in order to do that you first you want to go to your windows settings so if you don't know how to do that you could click on well, depending on your start menu, here's the Windows 10. You could click on settings right there. And then you want to go to update and security. And then click on Windows Insider program. And then you'll probably see this message that says if you to use the Windows Insider program, uh, you'll need to turn on optional diagnostic data. And then if you click this, it'll take you there. And then you can click on that. And it just kind of turns on some settings there for you. Okay, so now we'll go back home and try it again. Okay, so then once you're here, you want to click on Get Started, or you could read some more information here. And you can see it says this PC does not meet the minimum requirements for Windows 11, and there may be issues. And that's something we could actually check later for sure with the uh, Windows 11 update tool. So let's click on Get Started. Okay, first it wants you to link a Microsoft account in order to use this. So I'll click on link account. And I'll pick one from my list here. And continue. You should have a Microsoft account if you know if you use it to sign into Windows or if you have like an Outlook account, you could use that as well. Okay, so now you have to pick your insider settings. Um, you know, the dev channel for technical users, the beta channel for early adopters, release preview channel. Um, for early releases so I'm going to go with the recommended and so because it says for Windows 11 builds that could be re more reliable and that's what I want so I'm going to click on confirm and then you could read the uh, privacy statements if you want and you click on confirm and then you just have to restart your computer so we'll go ahead and do that and we will uh, be right back Okay, so computer has been rebooted, so let's go back into settings and then update security and see what we got here. So we'll click on that and then Windows Insider Program. And then once again, it's telling me my computer does not meet the minimum hardware requirements for Windows 11. There may be issues and so on. So um, in another video, I'm going to run the Windows 11 kind of tester tool to see if, my, if that's really the case. And maybe it'll give me some more information as to why my computer is not compatible. Um, and then you can see here, here's my settings here. I chose the release preview channel out of those three options that we saw earlier. And then down here, if you want to stop getting preview builds, you could check slide this to off. Like it says, turning this on will opt your device out of, of, of flighting, that's what they call it, when the next major release of Windows 10 is installed. All right, so pretty simple. So like I said, just go to the settings, go to Windows Insider Program, uh, change that optimization setting if you need to. Sign in with a Microsoft account, pick your preview channel you want, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.